access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the Talking About Dates PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to talk about your plans on specific dates in the target language. Plus, must know vocabulary for months, days of the month, and more. Download this cheat sheet for free. Second, the Ultimate Guide to Beginner Language eBook. Want a free way to boost your vocabulary? With this new PDF eBook, you'll master over 500 beginner words and phrases, more than enough to start speaking the language with confidence. Third, how do you say winter in your target language? Don't know? Access this one-minute lesson to learn all winter-related words and phrases. If you want to learn these words fast, use the free audio slideshow tool inside the lesson. Fourth, do you know how to express holiday greetings in your target language? Access this one-minute lesson to learn phrases like happy holidays and have a happy new year. Fifth, can you talk about holiday accommodations in your target language? Learn how to say hotel, guest house, inn, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And sixth, want an app that teaches you the language through conversations? Download Innovative Language Learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized lessons that teach you practical conversations and get you speaking in minutes. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is input versus output and how to learn language faster. Are you getting results from your language learning? You may be spending time on apps, watching YouTube videos, maybe even reading through a textbook, getting all this input. But what about output? Do you know what you're getting out of it? Most learners don't. Stick around, today you'll discover, one, the other meaning of input versus output, two, how tracking your input and output helps you learn a language faster, and three, how to apply this tactic. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About the Week PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to talk about your plans for the week and how to say the days of the week in the target language. Download this cheat sheet for free. Second, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF ebook. And third, how to say hello PDF writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll pick up some common greetings and be able to practice writing them out. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Now to today's topic. Input versus output and how to learn language faster. Part one, input versus output. So there are two ways to define input and output. First, from the language learning perspective, input is listening and reading, and output is speaking and writing. The second way to look at it is the effort you put in and the results you get. So input is the time and effort you put into learning the language, like listening to audio lessons for five hours a week, and five hours is your input or practicing speaking phrases out loud for 10 minutes a day. And output is the return on the time you invested into the language. In other words, the results. The results could be something like mastering 30 phrases or being able to hold a three minute conversation as a result of your input. And that's the input and output we want to focus on today. The time put in and the results you get from the time put in. Part two, how tracking your input and output helps you learn a language faster. If you take a look around, most learners do a ton of info with studying, right? They read textbooks, they watch videos on YouTube, they spend hours on apps, but they have no measurable results or return on their time invested. If someone told you that they've read 200 pages of a textbook, which is a lot of input, can they place a specific number on their results? Can they say, I learned 1,000 words, or I can handle 20 minutes of conversation as a result of reading 200 pages? Probably not. 
So most learners don't know because most learners don't measure their input or their output. However, if you knew that listening to one hour of audio lessons a week resulted in being able to hold a three minute conversation, now you know what results you're getting from your work. And this is where tracking your input and output becomes a powerful way to learn a language faster. Because you can measure your input and output, you can also now improve your results. If one hour of input helps you have a three minute conversation, you now know how to reach six minutes, nine minutes, and so on. You know how to improve, just add an hour more. Look at it in another way. You can also try to get more output while maintaining your input, one hour. So trying to get seven or eight minutes of conversation from one hour of study time. Now, the numbers may not always be the same because of the law of diminishing returns. But what's important to understand is that if you're putting in effort, you should always aim to get some sort of result in return. Otherwise, you're not making progress. That's why this tactic is so powerful. It almost forces you to improve and get something out of your efforts by looking for ways to beat your current numbers. But if you never knew the numbers, then you wouldn't know what your baseline was and you wouldn't know how to improve. Now, how do you apply this to your language learning? Part three how to apply this tactic. It's not hard. Just measure your input or the time you study. We already ask you to set small, measurable monthly goals and outline your daily routines. This should give you an idea of how much time you put in already. Plus, our learning system tracks the time you study. Just visit My Report under the Account drop-down menu. There, you'll see the number of lessons completed, flashcards reviewed, and time studied. Next, measure your results or your output. You have to start doing output, whether it's a journal, texting your teacher, writing comments on our lessons, having conversations, you have to have that output and measure it. So if your goal is to learn 1000 words in one month, but you only learned 800, then you know that with your current input, 800 is a realistic number. One month results in 800 words mastered. And because you know this, you can now improve by doubling your input or changing to a more efficient study method, like learning with flashcards. Simply put, measure your time input and measure your output. And again, to measure the output, you have to do the output. You'll instantly see what results you're getting for the time spent. Thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about, are you putting enough hours into your language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Picture this. You're sitting with two native speaking friends who are speaking in that language. Maybe you understand a word here and there, but the rest is way too fast for you. If only you could slow down and replay that conversation bit by bit. And if only you had a transcript and translations, then you'd understand everything and learn the language faster. Well, the good news is you can do just that. Slow down and understand native speed conversations, even if you're a beginner with our learning system. How? <laughs> Stick around. Today, you'll discover one, all about the line by line dialogue study tool, two, how you can easily understand and master conversations as a beginner, and three, how this tool gets you speaking easily and helps perfect your pronunciation. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So let's jump in. I'll guide you through our learning system so you get to see exactly what's inside and our members only study tools. Okay, so let's take a look at what exactly the line by line dialogue tool is. So first you can find the line by line dialogue tool in any of our lessons. In this case, I have beginner season one and the lesson title is how's it going and you can find the line by line dialogue tool here from the dialogue tab. If you click this, it will take you directly to the line by line section. So I'm going to break down what you can do here in just a moment, but you can also find the line by line dialogue tool in any of the absolute beginner 
beginner lessons. So we have this free absolute beginner course that's available for a limited time right now. There are more than 50 lessons that you can find inside this absolute beginner course. So you will also have access to the line by line dialogue tool if you take this course and get access to these lessons. So have a look at that too if you're interested in that. Okay, so let's take a look at what we can do with the line by line dialogue tool. So first you'll notice that there are a couple of icons to the left of each line. So each line here represents one line in the dialogue for that lesson. If you press the speaker icon here on the left, it says play, you will hear just that line. So you'll be able to listen to just that line. This is useful if there's like a line in the dialogue that you had trouble understanding or that wasn't super clear to you, or maybe you want to practice shadowing that line, whatever, you can choose just that one line to listen to. So each line also has, of course, the words. You'll have a transcript here of what was said in the line. And then depending on the language that you're studying, you will also have a translation here too. So it can be a translation in your language or in a language that you know, another language you already know. If that is available for the language you are studying, you will also find that here. So the second thing I want to talk about is this voice recorder function, this icon right here. If you click on this, you will be able to record your voice saying the line. So this is really helpful if you want to work on your pronunciation because by recording your voice, you get the opportunity to compare your pronunciation with the pronunciation of a native speaker. So this can really help you to make sure that you are pronouncing the words correctly and also using natural intonation. This is super helpful in longer lines like this one, for example. So if you want to make sure that your intonation sounds natural and sounds like a native, you can use this voice recorder feature to make sure that you're doing that correctly. And you can use this four, five, six, ten times if you want to. It's not just like a one-time thing. So use this, come back to this to make sure that you are getting enough practice with your speaking as well. So you can use this tool, just this tool, for listening practice, for speaking practice, and you can even write these things out if you want in a notebook to get some writing practice too. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use just this dialogue tool to get lots of kinds of practice. And if you want to break this down even further, if you want to break things down a little bit more to more like specific pieces, you can even scroll down to the vocabulary section where you can look at those specific words and specific phrases in depth and listen to them a little bit more slowly to practice too. So there are a lot of different ways that we can use this dialogue tool, just this dialogue tool, to make sure that we have lots of different ways to practice. And if you want to just listen to the entire conversation one more time, you feel pretty confident with the line by line practice, you can just come up here and push this play button and you will hear the entire dialogue one more time. If you struggle with understanding conversations in your target language, you'll want this. The line by line dialogue breaks down conversations into individual lines, and you'll understand every word of the lesson dialogue. Find it inside all of our audio lessons. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.